Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Finally made it. 627, and we have just arrived at Ross number three for today. And what do you know? B I P parking baby that's what i'm talking about stop go stop go i have no idea what that stop sign has to do with this trip but you know what we're rolling with it either way we cannot possibly get in close to the store unless we park inside so uh the vip is usually a good old man it's usually a good sign fingers crossed let's do this we are also right next door to i don't know if you can see it that little red blur over there yeah that's a burlington sign so you guys know what that means. We will definitely, definitely be paying a visit to my old friend Burlington back there. But first things first, Ross 30. Let's do this. And here we go. Let's discover some new ways to dress for less. What do you guys say? Starting the big boy sizes. And surprise, surprise, Mike Trout time. Who would have thunk? These ones are $19.99, so not on clearance like most of the other ones we see today. For whatever reason. We got some more down here, some white and burgundy ones. These ones are not on clearance either. I guess this Ross is not about the clearance life, unfortunately. These look like some Metcon 3s, although they say Nike training. These look just like the Metcon 3s that I got in the last two videos. Some more Mike Trouts, not on clearance. What the heck, man? Well, not digging the whole uh, no clearance thing. <laughs> not a good sign, guys, not a good sign. What about these ones? Nope. Oh. What about the green and white ones? Come on, these gotta be on clearance, right? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. I don't know what it is about the green and white ones. Maybe it's because it's Michigan State colors. If that's the case, Nike or Ross, I completely understand. I would pretty much give them away too. Very understandable. Michigan State. Huh, that is interesting. These same black and orange ones, size 12 and a half, reduced. Man, this. I had to bust out my old iPhone to record because my main one that I use is trying to tell me it's out of memory even though it's not. So this is what I'm working with, guys. And this one's autofocus leaves a lot to be desired to say the least. So anyways, this one's reduced to $13.99 even though the orange and black one over there isn't. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's because this one's 12 and a half, which is always a crappy size. One of these ones. It looks like all the green and white ones are marked down every Ross we've been to so far. Which like I said, completely understandable. See what else we're working with. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Whole lot of nothing, man. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We're still seeing a ton of empty shelves. It's time to rebuild, Ross. It's time to rebuild. It's 2020, man. Get with the program. Look at all this empty space. So much room for activities. And here's the thing. It'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. Or, uh, you know, just new shoes or good shoes or maybe both. Got some more of these Scan Newtons. Oops. I mean, Cam Newtons. Except these ones aren't on clearance. I guess this Ross just really doesn't like the clearance life, which is a shame. Oh, here we go. Got some Air Max Tailwinds for an absurd price. $74.99. Way too much for these guys. Wouldn't be a bad find if it wasn't for that crazy price. The size of these guys. That autofocus though. Focus on his phone is awful. Ten and a half. Good size. But once again, $74.99 comparable value 135. I betcha these dudes don't resell for much more than that. Just because ten and a half is a really common size. Let's find out. Looks like ten and a half is about no, I, th I think it is the most listed size on eBay, which means there's a ton of competition, which means surprise, surprise, the price it's pretty low. That's what happens when there's way too many listings of a particular shoe. Like I said, it would be a good find, but not so much. So, onward we go. Oh, what do we have here? Some marquee boosts in a new colorway that I've never seen before. CBC, oh, it's like a special edition colorway. The Harlem colorway, I believe. And what size are we working with? Another 10 and a half, which once again is a good size, but it's also usually a very commonly sold size anyway, because a ton of people wear 10 and a half. I guess we'll grab these, see what's up with these, and uh, see what else we're working with. Nothing, nothing. Oh, what do we have here? What the heck? Anyone know what World Industries is? If you're about that skate life, you definitely know what World Industries is or was. I think it's still a brand anymore. I used to love world industry skateboards back in the day they had like the little fire and water characters those dudes were awesome 
definitely some of my favorite boards back in the day. But I could have swore this brand disappeared a long, long time ago. And I honestly didn't know they ever made skate shoes to begin with. Huh, what else I'll bet? Maybe they're making a resurgence? Or constrained there at Ross, installing for $19.99? Maybe not. I don't know. I guess if they're not around anymore, this thing's actually might be worth something. There's two pairs right here, back to back. So I guess we'll check these out too, just for the heck of it. So we got the World Industries, we got the Marquee Boost, Harlem Cutaway. Oh, uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, set up the alarm. All right, I'm putting you guys back, my bad. Back you go. Whoops, well that's annoying. Looks like some moron set off the shoe alarm. God, people these days, I tell you what guys. Looks like we got some speed turps right here. So we'll check these out. And that's a wrap for this Ross, as far as shoes go. All right, all right, all right. So not very good finds, but we'll check them out anyways. We got the speed turps in a seven and a half. All right, so anyways, on to find the R number. AB789501, let's look them up. I already looked up while well, I was trying to look up these world industries. But there's not really a art number here. I tried looking up that right there, the F206883, but nothing popped up. So instead, I just typed in the little search bar, World Industry Shoes, and every, pretty much every listing that pops up is super cheap. Like 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 12, 19.95. So yeah, I looked at all of them. I didn't see this exact one, but considering all the other ones are really cheap, I'm gonna take an educated guess and say these ones probably are as well. So you guys know what that means. No, 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 hey, 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 goodbye. <laughs> and then there was one, which we already saw the number four. So let's go ahead and look it up. And here we go. What size of these? Seven and a half. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, I love the bet. There's a seven and a half for $94.99. And what was the price on these dudes again? $64.99. Comparable value, 105. Most importantly, let's see what they're selling for. All right, there we go. Nine and a half, hundred bucks. Eight and a half, ninety-nine, ten, hundred, eleven, ninety. All right, so it looks like they resell for right about a hundred bucks, except for that one. Pretend we didn't see that one. Now let's see what kind of competition we're working with. So, where's our size at? Boom. Back to seven and a half we go. Three listings. That is much better than the Air Max Tailwinds, which had what, like 39 or something? Sort by lowest price, and we'll see what we're working with. 100 bucks, 94.99, 145. All right, so, hmm, 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 hmm. This is probably exactly what I'd listen for because eBay's got a new thing going on where if you sell shoes that are in either the men's athletic shoes category or the women's athletic shoes category, if you sell them for a hundred bucks and up, not including shipping, eBay doesn't take their 10% cut, which makes a pretty big difference when you're selling something for a hundred bucks and up. Because if you sell for a hundred bucks, 10% of that obviously is 10 bucks. So instead of eBay taking your 10 bucks, you get to keep it, which makes a pretty big difference as far as uh, your profit margin goes. So I wouldn't want to sell for any cheaper than that. Considering it's already $64.99, kind of sucks that one's listed right at a hundred bucks though. Because if you sell for $99.99, eBay's taking their 10% and they're taking $9.99. Hmm, I wonder if this guy's sold any in multiple sizes. Usually it will tell you if they sold some. It'll say like sold this many, has this many left, something like that. Oh, there we go, one sold, six available. So that means he did sell one for a hundred bucks. It wasn't a seven and a half, because we already saw there hasn't been any recent seven and a half sold. Hmm, dang it, I wish this dude was selling for like 105, then I'd definitely get him. But honestly, I have so many pairs at home right now. I just got, what, four? at the last Ross and let's see how many active listings I have right now. 57. Not all those are shoes, but probably about 50 of them are. So uh, yeah, it's quite a bit of inventory I got at home. And 65 with tax, right around 70 bucks. If you sell them for 100 bucks, you gotta take away shipping, PayPal fees. That's a good like easy 15 bucks right there at least. So not worth it for me, unfortunately. I wish they were. If they're cheaper, I'd grab them, but not the greatest profit margin. So these dudes, just like my world industries friends up there going back to the rack and then no and then there was none sad face oh man not having too much luck today but we'll go check out the uh clothing section maybe we'll better luck there optimistic jeremy and it's about time to peace out or at least head to burlington check that out real quick and then you guys know what time it is delivery 30. 
So uh, I'm gonna check out the kids' shoes, the women's shoes, clothing, Burlington, and delivery 30. So let's go. Well, the kids' shoe section was like a desert wasteland, but the first women's section I went down, the first aisle I went down, found these bad boys. Not exactly sure there. Obviously, Air Maxes. We'll check them out. But you know what? I am digging that price. So we'll definitely grab these dudes and see what else we got. Well. Turns out these Air Max 95s are actually kid shoes, size 6.5 Y. And as you guys can see right here, there's one in this exact same size listed for $69.95 with free shipping. These dudes are cheap, $36.99, but it's not really too great of a profit. And they're a little bit on the dirty side. Bottoms aren't too, too bad, but like right here, you guys can see the logo, the Air Max logo is kind of smeared. So I thought it'd be good finds, but I haven't had the best luck in the world with kids shoes lately. I actually have two pairs of kids foam posits at home that have been sitting on for like, at least a month now and those are usually really easy to flip and they usually sell pretty well but like i said haven't been having too much luck with kids shoes so air max 95s went back to their home their rightful home in the kids section you're welcome ross in the meantime i did find something thankfully so we're not leaving with nothing got some project rock training shorts for msrp is 60 bones but we're getting them for where are you at price tag where are you at man 16.99 and as you can see right yeah they resell for fairly well at around the retail price so we'll go ahead and grab these dudes hit the road jack well hit the sidewalk to burlington and uh see you guys there and here we go as you guys can see up there we made it we're at burlington yes mission accomplished actually kind of this is actually a different burlington than the one that was right next to that ross you see what happened was my uh, backup phone battery died, so I uh, couldn't record that one. No worries though, because that Burlington had absolutely zero, and I do mean zero fines. Thankfully I was in and out of there in like 10 minutes, because that's how bad it was between the uh, shoes and clothing. There was absolutely nothing, nothing to be found. So let's go check out the shoes. And here we are, we made it to the men's shoe section, which I swear every single time I come to this particular Burnley tent, they change where the men's shoe section is at. Now it's in the middle of the store. Last time I came, it was on the right side of the store, like over there. The times before that, it was in the back right corner. It's been in the back middle before. Anyhow, onward and upward. I'll start at the big boy sizes. Try to make this quick. See what we're working with. And then that is a wrap. Well, in the big boy sizes, it's all I see so far. We got some white and blue hyperdunks, giant size, just like earlier. So these ones aren't 10 bucks, quite a bit more. $44.99. I got some interesting looking Pumas. This is about all they had at the other Burlington, where I just told you guys I couldn't record because my phone died. Yeah, didn't miss anything. It was a whole lot of nothing except Pumas, which don't resell, but they look interesting nonetheless. Got some more hyperdunks. Moving on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. I gotta do something about this headphone situation. There we go. Much better. If I'm gonna walk around in the store talking to myself, I at least need some slack on the headphones. So I don't have to be like. <laughs> Anyways, now we got a little freedom with the movement. Let me tell you guys what I didn't see. Any good shoes. Let me tell you what I haven't seen at Burlington in like four months. A good pair of shoes. I honestly don't think a found one good find as far as shoes go at Burlington in the last like three or four months. I don't know why I keep trying. I guess I'm just holding that hope that uh, they'll start getting good shoes again. Back in the day, I found quite a few Vapor Maxes here, but uh, lately, nothing. It's your hole. <laughs> it's been rough at Burlington. It's been bad at Ross, but whew, nothing, nothing compares to how bad it's been at Burlington. And uh, yeah, a lot of the same today. Yeah, well, that's it. Just walk through the women's section too. Men's section had nothing. Women's section had nothing. I'm not even gonna bother with the kids section. Let's get out of here. Wow. Goodbye and good riddance, Burlington. I'd love to say it was a pleasure doing business with you, but uh, that'd be a lie. So instead, I'm just gonna say peace to the video because, you know, the video's over. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going home, man. I've been gone for four hours now. I visited like six doors, I think. And we got a grand total of, what was it? Four pairs of shoes at that second Ross, I think. And one pair of shorts in four hours. Not good. 
Not good at all. Man, I wish I would have just stopped at the second Ross. If only I could have predicted the future. 2020 has not been good to me as far as uh, reselling goes. Hopefully it gets better because uh, I think we're pretty close to rock bottom. As far as the uh, reselling game goes or the treasure hunt game goes. It's only up from here guys. It's only up from here. Hopefully. I guess it could probably get a little worse, but hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's a wrap for today's treasure hunting adventure. <sighs> I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of it. Where's all the good luck at? Where's that, guys? Where's that? Because I need some. All I've had lately with treasure hunting is bad luck after bad luck after bad luck, for the most part. It's about dang time we get some good luck. It's got to be right around the corner, right? Hopefully. Either way. We live to fight another day or to hunt another day, something like that. But for now, my friends, as I said, that's a wrap. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to tuck little man into bed, get my edit on or something. I don't know. I gotta find some way to uh, turn this day around and make it a little more productive than it's been. Even though I've been trying my best to hustle and grind for the past four hours, Unfortunately, my productivity for today was at the mercy of Ross and Burlington, and they were not kind to my productivity. So now I kind of feel like I wasted the last four hours. So now I gotta go home and make it up somehow. Either I'm gonna go take my frustrations out at the gym or on Final Cut Pro. I don't know, man. We'll figure it out shortly. But for now, once again, for like the third time, I'm finally signing off. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll catch you in the next one, and as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you, are only make believe. Those